During the Paris Air Show 2025, Comac made a bold move, announcing that the C929 could enter service as early as 2030. The Chinese manufacturer confidently claims that its wide-body jet is not only on par with those of Boeing and Airbus, but could even surpass them. With potential variants, the C929 is gearing up to challenge the Boeing 787 and propel Comac into the ranks of the world's top aircraft makers. So why is the C929 considered superior to its Western rivals? How will it take down the 787? Let's find out. For nearly a century, the skies have been ruled by two seemingly untouchable giants. Through unmatched engineering and sprawling global networks, these aerospace titans have shaped every standard in the aviation world. Their engines, their airframes, and their technologies have formed the backbone of commercial travel, cargo transport, and even military operations worldwide. But this tightly held order, while stable, has also come at a cost. It stifled competition, slowed innovation, and concentrated immense power in the hands of just a few. When airlines sought next-generation wide-body aircraft, they had just two options, a closed ecosystem designed to keep challengers out. Breaking in wasn't just hard, it was nearly impossible. You weren't just building a plane, you were battling entire supply chains, maintenance empires, regulatory fortresses, and an industry deeply attached to what's safe, even if it's outdated. In that situation, in 2008, a new name quietly emerged, and it's now shaking the aviation industry. That name is Comac. For years, Comac worked in silence, developing homegrown aircraft far from the global spotlight. Early efforts were met with skepticism, dismissed as minor players in a market long dominated by Western titans. But the company kept moving forward step by step. Their first major leap, the C919, China's first domestically developed single-aisle jet. And on May 28, 2023, it made history with its first commercial flight. This wasn't just a technological milestone, it was a national statement of pride and perseverance, proof that China's dream of mastering the skies was no longer a fantasy. Still, this aircraft had its weaknesses. It relied heavily on Western components and couldn't truly go head-to-head -head with the best-selling narrowbodies like the 737 MAX and A320neo. If China wanted to disrupt the global order, it needed something bigger, more ambitious, designed to dominate the long-haul market. And that was the moment the C929 was born. On February 20, 24th at the Singapore Air Show, Comac unveiled the C929, a bold declaration of its intent to take on the world's aviation elite. Originally launched as a joint venture with Russia under the name CR929, the program faced serious setbacks as geopolitical tensions and diverging priorities pushed Russia to withdraw in 2023. But China didn't retreat. Instead, they doubled their effort. They took full control of the program, renamed it C929, and accelerated development with unwavering resolve. With this aircraft, China isn't just building a wide-body aircraft, it's launching a direct challenge to the decades-long duopoly of Boeing and Airbus. So, does the C929 truly live up to its bold ambition? It's amazing to have you still with us. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so you won't miss any of our upcoming content. Thank you so much for your incredible support. At first, many were skeptical. Some dismissed it as merely an upsized version of the C919, a narrow-body jet meant for domestic routes. But that skepticism quickly faded once the specifications were revealed. Unlike the single-aisle C919, the C929 is a twin-aisle wide-body aircraft purpose-built for ultra-long haul routes like Beijing, New York, or Shanghai, London, the kind of missions typically reserved for the industry's heavyweights. First, the C929 will come in three variants. The baseline C929500 is designed to carry around 250 passengers in a standard three-class configuration. A slightly stretched version, C929600, boosts that to 280. And the largest model that we might foresee, C929700, is expected to carry up to 320 passengers. While the maximum evacuation limit could be as high as 440, airlines will configure their layouts based on their operational needs. Some reports suggest that Comac may launch the version 600 first, followed by the shorter version 500 and the longer model 700. While the rollout sequence remains uncertain, one thing is clear. The C929 is a direct challenger to all three variants of the Boeing 787. Second, the aircraft's design is truly impressive. This Chinese aircraft boasts a wingspan of nearly 65 meters, 
even longer than the Boeing 787, requiring top-tier aerodynamic precision and structural integrity. The cabin width is another standout feature. At 5.5 meters, it surpasses both the Boeing 787, 5.28 meters, and even the Airbus A350, 5.34 meters, promising greater comfort for passengers, especially on intercontinental flights. And at the 2025 Paris Air Show, COMAX signed key agreements with Safran and Crane Aerospace and Electronics, US-based, to support development of crucial systems on the C929. These memoranda of understanding include landing gear, oxygen, and ice detection systems with Safran and cabin door sensor systems with Crane. Third, this wide-body aircraft's use of advanced materials marks a major leap forward. It incorporates 15% titanium alloys, on par with the Boeing Dreamliner, and over 50% carbon fiber composites, more than four times the C919's 12%. This not only cuts weight and improves fuel efficiency, but also positions the C929 as one of the most environmentally friendly commercial jets ever built. A major advantage as the world pushes for greener aviation. Notably, backed by the internationally certified technical foundation of the C919, the C929 is being built with extraordinary precision involving over 2.2 million components and 3,500 test sets already completed. The aircraft is also equipped with a real-time monitoring system that continuously tracks the plane's health throughout the flight, something even many modern jets have yet to fully implement. On top of that, this aircraft integrates 10 core systems including avionics, communication, navigation, primary and backup hydraulics, and an advanced wing design. These technologies not only boost performance and safety, but also enhance passenger experience and operational efficiency. But here's the real highlight of the C929. This aircraft will be powered by a 100% made in China engine, a symbolic leap in China's quest for full technological independence in aviation. Its name is CJ2000. Have you ever heard it? Then let me tell you why it might just be China's greatest source of pride in aerospace to date. Initially, the CJ2000 was developed for the C919. However, Due to concerns over stability and international certification processes, COMAC held back its immediate deployment. Instead, the C929 will serve as the ideal launch platform for this engine, with test flights scheduled for 2029. If successful, it will mark a historic turning point, China's complete detachment from Western engine technology in commercial aviation. First, technically, the numbers are very impressive. The engine delivers up to 35 tons of thrust, rivaling the most advanced power plants in service today. That allows the C929 to fly non-stop up to 12,000 kilometers, cruising at around 980 kilometers per hour with smooth performance and significantly reduced noise. With a fan diameter of 3 meters and an overall height of 4.55 meters, the CJ2000 is even larger than the 33-ton GENX used on the Boeing 787. Now, imagine turbine blades capable of withstanding extreme temperatures and forces once thought impossible, unlocking more thrust from less fuel. The CJ2000 is packed with proprietary technologies that have the aerospace community buzzing. Among them are breakthroughs in ultra-high temperature materials, enabling unprecedented thermal efficiency. Even more impressive is its completely reimagined compressor and fan design, minimizing drag and maximizing airflow, something Western manufacturers have struggled to achieve for years. This isn't just an upgrade, it's a rethinking of jet propulsion itself. And it doesn't stop there. This engine integrates noise reduction tech far beyond current industry standards, giving the wide-body aircraft the potential to become one of the quietest wide-body aircraft ever built. By balancing performance with environmental responsibility, this engine isn't just a challenger, it's poised to become the new benchmark for next-generation green aviation. For all these reasons, it's no surprise that Western media outlets have started calling the C929 a direct competitor to the Boeing 787 and Airbus A350. With a high level of domestic production and bold technological advancements, this aircraft could reshape the global balance of power in aviation, a shift the West can't afford to ignore. Yet, questions remain. With COMAC recently signing a memorandum of understanding with Safran, it's still unclear whether the CJ2000 will remain the engine of choice for the C929 or if alternatives may emerge. Still, one thing is certain, China is closer than ever to mastering its own commercial aircraft ecosystem. However, this is crazier than you think. 
China's development of the CJ2000 engine, the C919 narrowbody, and now the widebody C929 marks the first serious threat to Western control over commercial aviation technology. No longer content with importing parts or replicating existing models, China is now designing, manufacturing, testing, and operating its own aircraft on its own terms. This challenges the long-standing leadership of the U.S. and EU. As China gradually builds a self-sufficient aviation ecosystem, it also gains the power to propose its own technical standards for engines, airframes, maintenance, and even air traffic management. That opens the door for developing countries or China-aligned nations to adopt alternative systems, bypassing FAA or EASA regulations. For the West, this represents a strategic shock. If China's standards take root, even partially, the West's technological and geopolitical influence will decline. But the threat will be more and deeper. Aviation isn't just an economic tool. It's a projection of national power. If China can mass-produce a long-haul wide body like the C929 using a domestic engine, it can offer a cheaper, independent solution to countries previously reliant on Boeing or Airbus. That's why certification for the C919 was delayed in the US and EU, not just for technical reasons, but out of concern that approval would set a precedent. With the more advanced C929, those barriers will be even higher. There's also deep-rooted distrust around China's transparency, quality control, and system integrity, especially in sensitive areas like flight safety and software. These concerns are often cited to stall certification. Ultimately, the wide-body aircraft isn't just another plane, it's a bold declaration of a global power shift in aviation technology, and that is exactly what the West fears most. When the C919 began threatening to break into international markets, the US and EU responded with certification roadblocks. They clearly saw the danger. So what about the C929? Its path ahead may be even tougher, but also far more significant. What do you think? Is the C929 really rewriting the rules of global aviation? Please share your thoughts. Thanks and stay safe.